So here we have some text that is actual text. So you'll notice that when the text comes in, it comes in in a different way, it stays longer and so on. So there's an interesting uh, technique being used here and I'm going to demonstrate that for you real quick. So these transform nodes are going to push the text from the left and from the right side of the screen into your view. And then here, there's another node, which is the uh, transform node. And this is what I call, how should I describe this? Let's call it the, the lazy stroll method, okay? So what does that mean? So if I turn it off, basically what will happen is that this text will fly in and sort of sit stationary, right? But nothing kind of stays still, 100% still because of how much motion is involved. So even if something moves in a big way, once it's done moving in a big way, it retains some sort of lazy sliding going on, okay? And that's what that is. So notice that here, you can see that the text comes in, but there's just absolute no more motion to it, okay? And if I turn this on, you will notice that it has this sort of sliding motion to it. You see that at, right at the end where it's done with its primary motion, you still see that it's sort of sliding around uh, lazily. Okay. And then you have some lettering. And this is similar to what we had already established in the first slide. So we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste those notes over here and tweak the animation keyframes. And I can say something different if I want to in this case. But this is just. Uh, sort of typography being used as a design element. It's not going to be big enough for the viewer to be able to read. And therefore, it has a lot of motion blur attached to it uh, because it's just going to be there for a few frames and that's about it. And that's how we're creating this sort of fast moving uh, sort of style. Okay. And then notice all the way at the end, down here, there's again uh, one of those lazy slides animation. So once this slides in, you see that it still is sort of slides, sliding to the right sort of gradually. And um, if you look at the overall animation, and if you look closely, you'll keep finding these little things. The more times you look at it, the more details you'll find in it. Okay. And then over here, I have these little design elements, the slashes, the squares and the, the crosses. It's going to take a second to um, animate. Again, these are being used in the same way that they were in the beginning. However, if you remember, the squares and the slashes were actually merged together as a group. In this case, they're merged differently, so they have a slightly different look to them. Okay, so now we have these text elements animating in the, the bottom here. And I don't know if you guys notice, but there's like a swaying motion to how these uh, slashes are animating. All right, moving on to the next section here. And if I click here, I can see that the animation is happening in this range. So I'm going to move my render range up from 60 to 110 and the 140. I can move it up to maybe 180. And I'm going to disconnect this so it renders a little faster for me. Okay. So now these bands are just bands, um, background nodes with transforms. And they have uh, this sort of ease out animation, as you've seen before. So there's different kinds of animations happening all over this intro. And then, of course, as you might have noticed, some of the bands um, are moving in different directions. So the slides are basically, uh, they have their own direction. So this one is, uh, let's call it act three, slide three. And this one has the up. And before we had the left, and before that we had the zoom. Okay, so after that, we have this little animation. So there's a media node, which is bringing in this little, um, let me show you image of a piano. And then uh, it is being resized. And then it's going into these transforms because as you can see, there are different 
they're coming up at different times, so they're all different transforms. Then they're getting merged. And then when they're all up, they're also moving right. So that's happening in this transform right here. The merges are um, labeled. And the way I did that is when I'm creating these animations, I usually uh, just animate and create my flow uh, just normally like anybody would. And then once everything is done, then I'll go back and I'll rename the nodes and make it a little bit more neat because usually these flows are also uh, a deliverable. So you give them to the client along with their uh, intro animation so that if they want another artist to go back and make uh, changes or alterations, it's actually their property, so they can do that. So that's why these, uh, these flows are made in a certain way, sort of standard way. So if you're considering do, using Fusion professionally to make animations, intro animations for people and stuff, this is a good um, starting point uh, of how your flow should look when you deliver it. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the next set of uh, nodes. So now we have these uh, sort of big texts coming in. So Act 3 is all about these, uh, these texts that are going to happen in the middle. And this is, again, the, the texts are really large because you actually want your viewer to read them. All right, so as you can see, these texts are, um, they have their uh, transforms that are moving them left, right, uh, and so on, right? And then down here, again, we have the same concept that I talked about earlier, the lazy slide. So when these texts are, are done moving in from the left and right, this transform node is actually zooming them in. So they're constantly moving even before the next slide comes on top there. Nothing in this animation is actually ever going to uh, sort of come to a stop and stay uh, stationary. Okay, moving on. Let's go ahead and look at uh, the next one. The next one is that uh, pink box of lettering that we've been using uh, where you see something on the very top or the very bottom. And um, these texts uh, slide in really, really fast. So they're not meant for uh, reading as much. They're being used as a design element. Okay. And then, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, the letterings that you're seeing in this slide, it's a little bit set up differently than what you've seen in the past as you can see the first two the the first line is the bold and the non-bold so they're being merged and then they're moving and then the second line is actually being merged with that and then uh, this is the position node so i probably went back another day uh, and i changed the overall position of that uh, element and then here's the lazy slide as i call it uh, which is once they're done moving in, they're still in motion, basically. Okay, let's move on. Let's move our render range uh, forward, and then we'll go look at what's happening next. 